Vacancies in social care in England are at record levels, with roughly one in ten jobs unfilled. It's causing backlogs in hospitals, unable to discharge patients who need carers to look after them. Low pay is a major reason for the vacancies, and new research has found that care workers in England are paid significantly less than their NHS counterparts. The average care worker providing support for people at home or in a care home is paid just under £20,000 a year. This compares with the equivalent NHS healthcare assistant who's paid more than 27,600, including allowances and additional hours payments. That's over £8,000 more. Here's our social affairs editor, Alison Holt. How do I sign red? Red? Like lips? Molly supports six adults with physical and learning disabilities like John. This one? Yeah. There you go. It's a job she loves. We do things like hoisting, we make meals for everyone, things like that. But I think for me, the most important skill are the emotional ones, if you will. Um, patience, guidance. We go away? Yeah. She is paid £10 an hour. Today's research calculates that if she was doing the equivalent role in the NHS as a healthcare assistant, she would get about £14 an hour. She's really struggling to put food on the table, like many working in both health and care. When you're working 40 to 50 hour weeks okay. and you're putting everything in, 14 hour days, and not only physically, but mentally, emotionally, for lack of better words, it doesn't seem fair. Since September, the charity Molly works for has provided more than 80 food parcels to help staff out. We're just trying to do a little bit to ease the pressure. People are reaching out for, for basics, sanitary products and nappies for their children, and it, it just shouldn't have to be like this, really. Like many care providers, this charity relies on the fees it gets from local authorities. It says it's making a loss, but has still used its reserves to increase pay as much as it can to try to keep staff. The social care sector is in crisis at the moment and at the heart of that is recruitment and retention. Vacancies have gone up by 52% in one year, which is 165,000 vacancies now in the sector. And that means that just being able to deliver the care that we want to do with the ambition that we have for people's quality of life is really compromised. A separate report by the Home Care Association representing companies supporting people in their own homes says the most common reason given by staff for leaving is the need to earn more money. The government says it is putting significant extra funding into social care, increasing the national living wage and running a recruitment campaign. Alison Holt, BBC News.